Now that AMD has officially unveiled the 7000 series desktop chips, many of us are in confusion about whether to wait for the 7000 chips or build a PC right now with an Intel 12th Gen CPU. To clear any and all confusion regarding this, in this video, we will be going through some of the considerable factors of whether you should wait for the Ryzen 7000 series or build a PC right now with an existing Intel 12th Gen chip. So, without further chatter, let's get started. Starting off, let's talk about why you should wait for the Ryzen 7000 series chips. AMD is known for its socket longevity and, if you look closely, AM4 lasted for about 5 years from its launch and still is compatible with plenty of capable Ryzen CPUs. And now that AM5 has been announced, it's likely to give you a clearer upgrade path in the future compared to Intel as they often switch their socket design. Another good reason to wait for the 7000 series chip is that DDR5 and PSIe 5.0 is likely to go mainstream with the AM5 platform. So, if you're planning to future-proof your build, Ryzen 7000 will be a solid platform. Given the current GPU prices, AMD iGPU builds are quite popular among casual gamers, given how capable they are in terms of gaming. As Ryzen 7000 iGPU will be based on RDNA 2 graphics, it might be worth waiting for if you have an iGPU gaming build on your mind. With that being said, let's go through the reasons why you should build a PC right now with an Intel 12th Gen chip. The generation gap between tech upgrades is at a point where there is always something new every 6 months or so. You have to take this into account and purchase components that you actually need. Followed by this, Intel 12th Gen CPUs are quite capable and going for one does not seem like a bad idea. While Ryzen 7000 does seem promising, there are no solid benchmarks or valid performance estimations for those chips. We have already seen how Intel 12th Gen chips such as the 12900K top several benchmarks in both gaming and rendering. So, if those scores look viable to you, you should build with the 12th Gen Intel chip instead of waiting. You can bet that Ryzen 7000 CPUs and related components such as DDR5 memory modules won't be cost-friendly at the start. AM5 motherboards don't seem to support DDR4. So, you have to pay a hefty price for DDR5 sticks. In contrast, Intel 12th Gen motherboards are compatible with both DDR4 and DDR5. So you can save up plenty of bucks from an Intel 12th Gen build. Nevertheless, the choice completely depends on you. Ryzen 7000 does seem promising, while Intel 12th Gen chips are also quite capable. We will be back again with more performance comparisons of the Ryzen 7000 and Intel 12th Gen chips as soon as the former makes it to the shelves. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.